guys it is evening time and we got us a load we actually just picked it up I don't know a few hours back you probably seen some footage of that but I think we ended the last vlog after we got delivered in PA we went and had some late lunch dinner and then we just chilled the rest of the night got up this morning had some brunch and Jason called a few agents. He actually found this load on the load boards. We picked it up in New Jersey. It was about 130 miles deadhead. It's going down to Georgia. Going down to Georgia. And uh, it's about 770 loaded miles. We picked it up, I think it was between, I think we got there around four-ish this afternoon. Got it picked up and out of there. And we deliver it tomorrow morning not a bad little run puts us in a good area i don't know hopefully we get something over the weekend we'll see i just stopped to let the babies out i'm at a maryland rest area actually just fixing to get down into the loop around dc the 495 i'm on the 95 south right now i think i got about 10 more miles i'll be getting on the 495 go around dc and keep heading south so i'm gonna get off here get back on the road We'll probably check up with you all tomorrow. Maybe Jason will do a clip. I don't know. We'll see. Peace. What's up guys? Hey y'all. Well it is two days later two. from the last clip I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, we've bit. had an eventful last 10 hours I think it's been. Yeah. Jason got us delivered yesterday morning in Georgia. Yeah, spent most of the morning trying to find another load but didn't find anything. I did forget to tell y'all the pieces and weight on that load. It was 14 pieces at a little over 2,600 pounds. And the reason I'm bringing it up now is because we get asked sometimes how often do we use the whole box of our truck? Well, that was one of the times. That, yeah, it's that, not very yeah, often. Yeah, yeah, it took fr front, front to back all Double the way. Double stacked. Yep. Minus the two foot where our shelves were. We right, were afraid right. we were gonna have to take down the shelves. Yeah but we were able to get it in. One more pallet and we would have had to, yeah. We were heading to uh, up near, closer to Atlanta, just to see if possibly we can get one over the weekend. And we got a call for an SOS load. Basically, you know, uh, somebody's broke down. It's a recovery load. A recovery load, somebody broke down. Mm. They need us to uh, get the load and mm. take it the rest of the way. Landstar calls it a repower. A repower, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> but begging because they need, really needed our help on it. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
the deadhead to get to it was 550 miles and um, they need, wanted us to pick it up today and I told them that you know we probably wouldn't be there till noon but this trooper here drove all night long I did so yeah because so since we didn't get a load yesterday by five o'clock when we were heading to Atlanta Jason still had some time left on his clock so he's like well I'll just get us to Atlanta because he had an eight-hour break yeah started his clock and then they called he drove the rest of his I think he had like four hours left or something <clears throat> So that screwed up our shift. So yeah. I drove from like, God, I don't know, what time did I start? Uh, like 10 o'clock? Yeah, 10 up until about an hour ago. Yeah. We're about 50 miles away now. He's uh, waiting to get his 10 hour break. He's got about an hour one, left. One more hour, and yeah. I'll have my 10 hour break, and then I will be driving all day while she gets some sleep. <laughs> Our yeah. shift is totally whacked out <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's our own fault, but yeah. we assumed, and you know what happens when you assume. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, that late in the evening, you don't think you're going to get a call for a load, then yeah. all of a sudden it, you do. And yeah, this is the first recovery load we've done since we've been at Landstar. From Atlanta, we're basically deadheading to Ohio. Uh, to get the load from the driver then then we once we got it picked up we're heading to Iowa mm -hmm. so but and it don't deliver until Monday but yeah, so. it has to be there Monday like no if ands or buts at all yeah, it has to be there so I think it was already supposed to be there this week and they broke down they actually twice. broke down twice yeah, yeah. They, they were having smoking trouble with their truck and this is what we were told at least um, their truck was smoking really bad, and they, uh, P Pennsylvania wouldn't allow them to drive on the highway. Basically shut them down. So they had to get towed to a shop. Well, they, when they got to the shop, they got, uh, they got worked on pretty quickly, um, uh, spent $4,000 and had the EGR replaced. Got out of there, and not but an hour later, their turbo went out. Yeah. That's tough. That is a tough And then they had to get towed again. Ugh. That's some big bucks right there that they're having. Big having bucks. To and, out think, and think, you know, it, such a huge problem with trucks, uh, us trying to get repairs out here on the road sometimes. Mm -hmm. They probably didn't need an EGR. Yeah, so they spent a couple thousand dollars on that. Four thousand dollars for that repair. For the EGR? For the EGR. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then how much is a turbo? Like... And then a turbo is probably gonna cost at least five thousand. So boom. Ten thousand in the in the trash. Plus the tow. Well, I not mean, in the trash, but Yeah, plus the tow. I don't know what what kind of truck they have, how old it is. I, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Uh, but yeah, that's something. Ten big grand bucks. just it's, gone. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. That's why we got extended warranty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At we're, least for her during, during this, while our during our warranty period, we're uh, putting money away for yeah, that that's day. Yeah. That's a definite. <laughs> for that day, so. You never know. You never know. That's a tough one, but <laughs> we're glad we're able to help out. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Get the low recovered. Um, I guess they couldn't find anybody else to do it, being they deadheaded us from. Atlanta. Yeah. But it's another load for the week. So yep. Yep. it's that's awesome. Yeah. But yeah they are paying the deadhead, so yeah. you know that helps out. I'm gonna hit the hay because I'm slept dead tired. Yeah, and I'm gonna go do this pickup and get on the road. So we'll catch up with you guys after that and see how everything goes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll have to let you know because yeah. this is our first time doing it. So yeah. we'll catch y'all later. Peace. Peace.
up yesterday. We'll yeah. get the load transferred from the broke down driver. Yeah, yeah. Jason took care of all that. Yeah, it was pretty easy. He uh, he opened up his lift gate. I backed up to it. We uh, transferred from one truck to another, strapped it in, and we're off on the road. It was pretty easy. Yeah, we made it to Iowa, and we're just waiting to get this offloaded tomorrow. Yeah, I think after we deliver this, we're going to head down to, start heading to the expo. Yep. We got a bunch of stuff we want to do. We got to get our uh, workshop uh, kind of planned out. Yeah, we got to finish that up. We started on it. We just got to finalize everything of what we're doing. And yeah. we got to get the truck washed and a few things. Clean before. the inside, yeah. vacuum. Yeah, uh, so. Get our Just get showers and do all our stuff. Get well rested too because we're gonna be getting up uh, Friday and Saturday early in the morning. So we'll kind of get our both of us on the same schedule and. You know, just kind of take this week easy, you know, probably get to the expo a little bit early to meet up and hang out with some other expediters out in the parking lot. A lot of people will be showing up Thursday and setting up like camp out in the parking lot and, you know, kind of tents and, you know, tables and chairs yeah. and barbecues and all that stuff. So, yeah. sh should be a fun week. Yeah, I'm no excited. Yeah, we won't be doing any runs next week, but we'll, we'll vlog as much as we uh, can. Absolutely. Well, I mean, as much as we think of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll, the next vlog will probably be uh, us heading to, heading to the expo. Heading to the expo. Yeah. And, yeah. We talked about maybe this Friday doing a live video from the expo. Yeah, we might yeah. Do that yeah, we, see we might how... do a live video. I got a little live thing set up that yeah. has a microphone and all that. Yeah. It'll still be on the phone, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So we're just gonna chill the rest of the evening. I'll probably make dinner here in a little bit. So I kind of wanted to share something a little bit about this uh, transfer job. You know, they, we had to when we got called for it, we were 550 miles away from the driver, and the load was only 485 miles. So not an ideal situation that most people would want to do. When the agent called me, he he basically said you know hey I, you're my only option you're all I got I really need your help on this whatever you need uh, to do it I'll do it and at first I joked around I was like, all right five thousand dollars you know <laughs> <laughs> he was he's like well I can't do that much so I'm like yeah I know I wanted to try to work with them we have to stay profitable when we when we help out we're, we're not a charity we're only a single truck we can't do free deliveries and stuff like that so we have to be get, have to get paid but you don't want to dig too deep into the agents or the other drivers pocket yeah. when you start asking for more money like that Landstar ain't gonna pay it it has to come out of the agent or the driver's pocket the and driver that broke down the driver that broke yeah. down right and um, 90% of the time probably it's gonna come more out of the driver's pocket so if I would have said well I'm sorry five thousand dollars is my number that's what I need to do it that would have came out of that driver's pocket he would have had to pay that somehow he would have been in the negative it just and I'm sure the agent would have helped him out with that because they they were desperate they had to get the load covered and if that was what somebody wanted to do if somebody was gonna be a dick and ask for that much money and insist on it you know he probably would have got it but he would have been screwing somebody out of money yeah and just doing that to another driver i could not do that so no and i mean you know we may be in that situation one day and we would hope somebody wouldn't screw us like that right, so right. what you put out comes back and yeah absolutely. i mean we still made good money on the run it, it was decent yeah, yeah it was decent I mean, money it was, it was acceptable you know I, I i told him i was all you know what we'll, we'll help out you talk with the driver and you you guys figure out what what you guys can uh, pay me on it and you know uh, we'll help out on it so don't yeah. worry so he he got a hold of the other driver and basically they came to the conclusion that we would get paid the full amount of what the driver was going to make on that ticket so uh, i think he had drove about 400 miles before he broke down and while that kind of sucks he doesn't make any of the money he got before picking up and driving the miles he did that's very small than have for him actually having to come out of pocket also yeah, yeah. on top of losing that load. And me personally, if I broke down in the middle of the load, I think it's fair for the other driver to just, you know, if that's all I had driven, it's fair for you to at least lose out on 
uh, picking up and what you had driven, unless it's like 2,000 miles then. Yeah, that's you know, a different story. That's a different but. story, but you know, it's, it's like Heather said, it's gonna be us one day. Yeah. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, when? <laughs> you know, because it's gonna happen. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Eventually it happens to everyone out here that you know you there it's out of your control no matter how good you take care of your truck it is something is gonna happen and it's gonna leave you in the middle of a run having to get that uh, customers load covered you know and you can't just expect the customers to oh uh, you'll get it when I get it fixed you know <laughs> yeah. well that's not that's not a viable option most of the time because that's what we do is expedite get it there quick so I just want to share that kind of aspect of that what we did this week it's looking out for our fellow driver you know yeah. and puts us in good with that agent you know how we did a favor for the agent yeah. hopefully he'll remember that in the future yep. it's yeah. you know helping us out as well so yeah. the, the driver was a pretty cool guy too uh, we exchanged numbers well I'm sure we'll be chit-chatting it up in the future he was yeah. a he was a real nice guy and yeah i'm sorry i didn't get to meet him but i was out she was out <laughs> i took I was care out of it from all. All yeah. But yeah so yeah we'll go ahead and end this one here we will see you on the way to the expo thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing until our next video peace love and expediting